What's going on, Internet? How we doing tonight? It's the Basement Bro tagging us back again. And once again, it's your buddy, Sherm. I'm on a two-week layoff from Wayne Corp, and I decided to hop on and record some stuff with the fellas. Fellas, what's going on tonight? Will, what up? Fresh. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Hi. What's going on, Fresh? I like your hat tonight. I like how you're repping over there. Oh, you know I got to rep the city. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? Be trying to hurt feelings. Be trying to hurt feelings, internet. Let him know how, how, what do you, if he if he uh, if he crushed on the game tonight. I'm pretty sure y'all got something to say. <laughs> trying to get a hand like you, fam. Something like that. But no, you know, we're just back to you tonight. Uh, tonight's uh, endeavor, invincible man. I, 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 and I was just getting fresh garbage from these two for two seconds ago. But the last two episodes of Invincible, and I believe we're on what seven and six, will. Uh yeah 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 incredible just just incredible man I, I don't I don't I don't I don't even know where to begin with the stuff uh like I said I'm still not the biggest fan of animation but whatever all right I'm past that the writing the story the plot the pacing I'm the man being the complete biggest scumbag I'm I'm I ain't gonna lie I woke up Friday morning like a damn child and was like yo turn it on turn it on <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I don't know how y'all felt. But I'm, <laughs> oh man, I'm like, okay. Shout I out to you. I felt the same way, fam. Um, the uh, from uh, episode six with the robots, mm -hmm. to, uh, seven, he went on a, a Omni Man went on a murder spree. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, internet, all spoilers. So oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole thing is spoilers. <laughs> yeah. So sorry, we just dropped the major one right there in that moment, and I didn't warn you, but. Sorry, but anyway, go ahead, Fresh. I'm sorry. Uh, true indeed, fam. Um, I really, uh, for now, now this is an indicator of my character at all, but I thoroughly enjoyed the murder spree. Uh, it was a, uh, yeah, even by shoe fail. <laughs> <laughs> it was that real. Like, it was, it was, um, like, uh, it was one scene in uh, episode seven where Omni Man, uh, he was in his kitchen. And then, like, you know, he felt the guards in there, whatever, right? So he grabbed one guard, and he flung him against his counter and uh, chopped him in half. Mm. Oh, man, I don't know why the light went in my eyes, and I just, like, <laughs> oh, man, this is so amazing. And then he just just, just brutally just murdering people and whatnot. But not to get ahead of it, uh, episode six is where uh, my man, uh, the main character, Invincible, Mark, and Mark, his, yeah. uh, his, uh, his spunky sidekick, uh, went up to a, and his girl went up to the, the college or whatnot, and then you know they had the murderous robots up there. And he promptly got his ass handed to him when he was trying to uh, scrap with him. I got a hot take about Mark, man. I think he's a bum. Why you say uh, that? Yeah, that's, that's, speak on it. Uh, because uh, well, I think it might be uh, well, so you know um, the uh, evil villain of white supremacy, he uh. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Omni Man. He's part white supremacy and part human. So uh, he got some weaknesses in him. Mark does, and I think his human side of him. Just you know, what I mean, either that or it's just not fully developed. Because I don't know if y'all noticed, the last three or four episodes, he been getting his ass handed to him. He's oh yeah, every, everybody's I mean, noticed that. Yeah, right. I mean, but he's yeah. just starting out too, though. Oh, he's oh. taking all L's right now. No. All L's. I got a feeling he's all, he's only going to take L's now. <laughs> I think his most meaningful W is going to make him live into that persona. But what's his most meaningful W going to be? Because like you right right now he's taking L's because he's struggling with the gravity of being this pretty much omnipotent human or you know half human. Uh, hell, he can't have a, a, a regular relationship. His dad is a murderer, but he don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, his life's kind of complicated, to be honest. Um, I didn't appreciate his girlfriend knowing, but not saying anything, but he did kind of play himself. You can't do that kind of stuff, fellas. That's never gonna work. Uh, uh, she was a sucker, man. She, she I'm not she, a fan of hers, I'm not. She's I'm not. the woman that Kevin Samuels keep preaching about, you know what I mean? Whenever she got on the screen, I kept thinking of his, his, his uh, theme music stopped playing in my head. <laughs> like, the dude, like, so uh, the great one, start talking. Yeah. 
You don't know how to deal with a high value man. <laughs> 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 this guy's stupid, bro. I swear. Uh, <laughs> no, like, cause, cause you know, remember, uh, uh, Eve even uh, uh, shot him some bail when she was like, "Yeah, he got hit by a bus." When you know he got his chest caved in by that uh, that lion, that, that mallet. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. He right. Yeah. came to her about six days later, looking decrepit and beat up, and she was like, "Well, I broke up with you during that uh, when you was gone." Uh, Eve told me you got hit by a bus. I'm like, yo, she got such high expectations. You know what I mean? Literally, like, literally, I, I, I'm not fronting. The Kevin Samuels theme song started playing in my head the minute I heard that. Like, you know what? <laughs> These red pill guys got something. <laughs> Say they might be on to something, huh? Like, oh, man. They might be on to something, man. <laughs> well, we ain't gonna take it there. What, what you think, bro? Uh, I... I, I was blown away. That last episode with the cyborgs, it, it, it was real freaky, man. It was a lot of elements I didn't appreciate in that episode, but um, <laughs> <laughs> some elements I, I couldn't get with. Um, uh, wow. Uh, it, you know, with the cyborgs, I'm just like, I just felt like one of the things that, you know, the, the robots, man, it was just so gruesome. You know, I'm like, all right, look, man, I, you know, at a certain point, like, I, you know, I'm not looking at uh, some hardcore anime, man. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to see every, you know, intros at every turn, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, but Kirkman, by, that's what Kirkman does. He's yeah, very I, I'm violent. trying to see that. I'm He's very violent. That. Yeah. Uh, but by episode uh, seven, where I mean, man, I'm not going to lie. The world was at a standstill. It felt like. I mean, like, what do you do when a god level force is on the loose and is just murdering people left and right? It felt like a hurricane was touching down and everybody was watching this on the news, man. It was amazing, man. Yeah, that's the uh that that's the skill set of a Robert Kirk. I don't know how he's mastered the craft pacing. Shout out to you, Mr. Kirkman. I mean, but yeah, like you said, seven, the culmination of how it ended. And uh, Mr. Invincible came back to life in the fight with Omni Man and got ripped in half promptly again. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So his name, that's Mr. You talking about Mr. Immortal? Mr. Immortal. I'm sorry. Yeah, you mixed up two guys, right? Yeah. That was Mr. Hilarious. Immortal. Because like thought, they did like, the whole montage of him throughout history. You know what I'm saying? After uh, I'm thinking like, oh, the way they set it up, like he got some smoke for. Uh, Omni Man, you know what I'm saying? Coming out yeah. there and kill you, then probably got Molly Watt. Well, I would say this. I'll say this, man. Just the whole sequence of him being brought back to life, that was a dope ass sequence. I mean, this is Omni Man. You're not going to be able to beat him. But Mr. Immortal is the second strongest um, being on that planet but besides um, Omni Man. So just seeing him and his past lives, that was dope. And then seeing him just like wake up in a rage and basically not being able to be controlled. Yeah. And he's come the closest to anybody we've seen. Give him, like, what was you holding back with your squad for? Like, like was you this powerful before you died or are you getting stronger as you pass and come back? Because he put the work, he put he put the, uh, every which way Omni Man was catching it with Mr. Immortal. He was, he did, he did do the most damage uh, face, uh, on Omni-Man's face in the first episode, him and um, the, the Wonder Woman fate before uh, Omni-Man broke her neck and uh, chopped off his head, you know what I mean? So he, like, he, uh, Omni-Man, you know what I'm saying, his face is all bad in the bruise. He looked like Martin versus Tommy Hearns after uh, dealing with Mr. Immortal. Um, uh -huh. And, uh, it, it, it was it was it was quite a spectacle episode. Like when um that one scene, like you know you know he was killing killing uh Cecil's man in that um in his uh kitchen. Then he noticed that they was in the other room. I mean the other house. And then you know what I'm saying he got my man by his spine, grabbed him by his spine, mm -hmm. he was talking shit to him before my man blew, blew up the house. And then Cecil was yeah. like, no, uh, we, we evacu evacuated the whole area, but we couldn't put too much yield. Well, obviously, because my man, you know what I'm saying, he didn't have a scratch on him. I'm your man, you know what I mean? Hey, and, man, that was so dope. The whole sequence of yeah, Cecil just sequence. throwing 
everything at this dealer with that satellite and then the birds dropping dead. I was like, wow, they are pulling out every stop to try to stop this dude. And then I saw uh, the cyborgs, they put a they put a beating on him too before he, you know, killed him. Yeah, uh, the overpowered monster and the cyborgs honestly gave him, <laughs> you know, and I appreciate that too. Yeah, he's um, damn near omnipotent, but he, he caught hands too, you know? <clears throat> and like you said, shout out to Cecil because he made him run the gauntlet. Um, and due to some masterful writing, I can't even call it plot because that was just beautiful how it all worked out with Mark showing up on the scene. And they couldn't reach Mark to tell him like, yo, your father's a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? So now he running into this critical fight. Like, now I got to scrap for dad because naturally you would. Like, dad gave his ass up. I got I to gotta be there for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie, man. Um, I like Mark, but I would say now Cecil is up there for me, man. I like Cecil, man. Just the, the whole, his thought process and how smooth he is. Yeah. So he's basically, um, it was Image Comics. Is the, they created this comic book, but mm -hmm. he's basically um, a take on um, Nick Fury. So, but to me, he's more Nick Fury than Nick Fury is at this point. Currently, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, that. I can. Um, how do you feel about Robot in the twin in the sub story with the twins? I forget their names, but I'm drawing, drawing a blank. I was I was sick, I love, man. I yeah, love those two curious. characters, by the way. I love the clones. Oh yeah, I like the the clones, man. Uh, yeah. And 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 even Robot. I didn't. I, you know, I I hate that I I like him. You know, he's hateable, but he's likable. And in this episode, you kind of realize, yeah, he's kind of a piece of shit too. <laughs> you know what I mean? All of the the ends he went to. You're supposed to be a hero, bro. You kind of just did some fraudulent stuff. But yeah, I did like it. Fink to get Gambit a monster. Was like, uh, when uh, Fink Gambit was like, hold on, you ruining my childhood. <laughs> yeah, <Right. laughs> it's real awkward, bro. Like, nah. I mean, really, how would you feel if somebody just cloned you and just walk out like it's nothing? <laughs> I mean, you as a teenager, though, you like that's even more weird. Like, hold on, bro. I, not even me as a grown man, and to get on with the teenager. Like, <laughs> well, I guess I guess you're 25, but it's just so complicated, man. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's real weird, man. I didn't like that part. Well, yeah, yeah. Like it, it was a um, very, I like how they fleshing out that side story as well, um, mm -hmm. because they could have just went balls out and went with the whole uh, Omni Man um, being seen as an evil guy or whatnot. Random sidebar: um, it, he's not the only one from that planet alive, right? Like Superman, there's more people like him out there, aren't they? I believe so. That's an in-depth question. The internet's probably gonna answer better than I could. But as yeah. far as I understand it, he's one. They get all shipped off to one planet, I guess, right? That's yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I would say there's a reason I, I've kind of read around a little bit now. I'm a little bit more familiar with the character, but um, there's a reason why he's killing people and calling people weak. So um, he's just kind of calling the herd. And, you know, I'll kind of leave it there, but yeah, that sounds um, like it. He literally, I, I bet when when I see him um, with Cecil throwing everything at him, it, it doesn't look like he's there to protect the earth. It look like he's prepping for world domination or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or some like <laughs> Superman and the Justice Two or something. You know what I mean? Like he looks like a conqueror. Like mm -hmm. like that's what it look like. He murdered everybody. He's murdering everybody because you know what? Because y'all y'all on the low key. <laughs> Um, he don't respect his son as well. That's why I think my man's a bum. He's a sucker. So like you know when he was like he told him to help. Uh, he said don't don't trust the black dude or the whatever, right? The black dude that turned into concrete. He said don't uh, yeah, trust. Yeah. Don't trust him. <laughs> um, getting rid of the computer head guy, whatever, right? So yeah. you know what I mean they went into the office against the computer head guy, and you know they did a side uh, shot showing saw, saw Omni Man watching the whole thing go down. So mm -hmm. he watched his son get, get. so an anonymous call came in for uh, the other superheroes to come in. Most likely that was Omni-Man. But um, he watched his son get beat to an inch of his life because he went against his words. That is some, some cruel Hitler type, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Conquering domination, like if you don't listen to me, you gotta die type thing, so. <laughs> I, I mean, he said he was a liberator. 
Yeah, liberate for who though? You know what I mean? <laughs> and not for us. He, he, he for us. And that's why I like his character so much. He is. I don't know what his motives are yet. I haven't read along. <clears throat> I kind of want to watch and find out. I don't want to read it just yet. I want to at least see how the season ends before I dwell off into that. But I, I like the arc of where he is, man. And it's kind of funny to watch him kind of re try to reason with his wife. It's like, nah, you just beat the shit out of everybody. I don't There's, <laughs> I don't think you can talk I mean, out of this. I mean, but, and, and you kill people you've known for 20 years. Uh, yeah, I, don't, right. I don't see how he can reason or think that she would be cool with that at all. He was like, yeah, like, let, let me her. explain. <laughs> yeah, like, dog, what? No, no. And, uh, and shout out to J.K. Simmons, because, man, he is killing the I mean, man, his voice acting has been amazing. So, you know, he it, it's been helping the character. Actually, there's been a lot of voice actors that have been in, in this show that I'm like, hey, I recognize them, and they're helping drive the story. Uh, what yeah, about when, he, when, I, when, when we heard him say, you should have stayed dead. I was like, hey, man, I'm sold, man. <laughs> <laughs> he told my man, you should have yeah. just, I'm not even surprised you're here, but you should have stayed dead. I'm like, wow. Yeah, he, he wasn't He wasn't trying to hear none of that from uh, Mr. Immortal. What about, see, now I thought Mark made a, uh, uh, one of the struggles you have as a hero, he made a critical mistake with William. And his buddy, or I guess the guy he was dating, got ended up missing. And the doctor who created those killer robots is the one who, who made his first test subject out of this guy's boyfriend. And just put that in perspective, you got to carry as a hero. Like, damn, if I would have just helped this dude two minutes ago, he might still be here. He might still be alive. But turns out the zombie robot came back and damn near killed Mark because he's been taking L's left and right. So, you know. And just fighting that struggle, man. Like I said, Kirkman is just, I'm impressed, bro. I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> man, he, he is sucker for love, man. Um, Mark, I'll say. Yeah, right. yeah he, 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 he been a sucker for love for old girl. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, not, is that, not is trying it, to get on my uh, camel, Kevin Samuel shit, but he was like, like literally. So my man's like, yo, help me out, man. Hold me down. But he just, he looking looking at his girl, talking to another dude. You know what I'm saying? If, if my man didn't call, what was to say he wasn't going to approach? You know what I'm saying? To put the hands on the dude for talking to her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Real sucker shit. So he was going down that path. I understand, like, you can tell, like, this is his first type girlfriend or whatnot. And so he's getting, having feelings he never had again. Because he's what? He's like, what, 17? He's a kid uh, with uh, superpowers. Mm -hmm. So, but... Um, he could have, if, if he say focus on the task at hand, like his pop said, because his pop has been telling him like, yo, man, we got to train. Yo, man, we got to do what we got to do. You can worry about that later. But you know what I'm saying? He's thinking he, he ain't even do nothing with her, man. You know what I'm saying? They just kiss him. So I don't even know why he's so strong up anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people are dying while you being a sucker, you know? Yeah, I, that is kind of disappointing. But he's going to put it together. I think, I hope. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah. And one thing I'll say, I think um, I think his powers are growing because if you think back to that invasion, when, uh, what's the chick name, uh, Adam mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, when she's yeah. getting ready to die, um, you saw how much stronger he got. Yeah, he you know? definitely yeah. was angry. He did that twice. Yeah. He and and then I got a question too. Like, even when... At first, I'm thinking she was kind of like the knockoff uh, uh, Invisible Woman, right? Mm -hmm. But when they kind of explained, I don't know which episode that was, what, what she could do when she went up to that forest, and basically she's changing stuff on a molecular level. Like, she's she's a god. You think Literally. about that, man. Yeah. She could kill Omni-Man if she wanted to. She, she could. Had when you was watching her manifest things out of her hand and out of nothing, I had the same thought process. She's like, like, with, like she's kind of like Green Lantern. She she reminds me like a Green Lantern, and you know, I'm the man of Superman. Green Lantern couldn't do nothing with Superman. No, she's no, she is not. She's like Molecule Man. She's a god. Yeah, because she's changing physically, physically changing things. Yeah. Whereas Green Lantern is just manifesting his willpower. You can punch him up, uh, a person's willpower right out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. How does that work? <laughs> you can punch his willpower right away. Like, yeah. I don't know. 
<laughs> right. But how does that work? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, you hey, punch him you right punch out him. of his face. Hey, hey, you punch him in the willpower, his nose start bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, man, that's just what it is. But I do believe she does have an OP power. I think we're just at a point where, hell, because they're all teenagers. They, she probably doesn't even know how strong she is, really. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like you said, the color in the herd thing, which could be a minor spoiler for me, the way my mind works. I'm trying to put three and three together, and, you know, try to look ahead. And um, I'm wondering if, like, that's one of the people he keeps around, I guess. We could call that a prediction, I guess. I don't know. Well, but it would make sense, because she's pretty damn powerful. Well, yeah. it, it, it's shaping up to be... Um, so... I haven't read any comics. I don't plan to read the comics at all. I just plan to enjoy the show as it is. Um, and uh, all my theories are just coming off, you know, putting two to two together. Uh, yeah. it, it looks like the way that the last episode ended, that um, she and Mark are going to be in a showdown with uh, Omni-Man somehow or whatnot, you know? And she, she might get ended. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Nobody's safe. You're right. Uh, yeah, well. he might even end his son the way he let his son get uh, almost like my, the lion. The lion literally put a hammer through that dude's chest and had it yeah. split everywhere. Like, you know, what I mean? did a little bit. Of, I did a little bit of research on that. That that cast name is a uh, Battle Beast, and he's just like a warrior. He's conquered thousands of planets. He just he likes killing. So, so like he's. Bobo. Yeah, so he's even worse than Omni Man for what I'm gathering, man. He's a pretty bad character. Eventually, those two are gonna have to throw hands. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I feel like Mark needs some get back off that one, bro. <laughs> if he came through, <laughs> delivered L's and left. Like, nah, we can't have that. Not for the MC. The MCs don't, that's not how it rolls. Um, right. But I appreciate the, the growth of everybody in the show. Uh, except for the girlfriend, she could probably kick, right, kick rocks. You know, we'll see. Yeah, I appreciate her, appreciated her early on in the series or whatnot, and her. Yeah, I'm, I'm over her now, though. You know. Yeah, man. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, especially <laughs> once you once you realized when she once it was dope that she already knew that was a different spin. You know, I was just waiting on him. I, I hate the whole you know the whole trope of oh I'm going off and oh, I got to go to work or I got to go sneak off and come up with these excuses for why yeah. I got to do superhero shit, but. You know, so I, I was just ready for him just to tell her. But the fact that she knew was a spin that I, you know, I could appreciate that. But then the fact that she didn't care kind of threw me. So I'm like, well, you right. know. Right. You can't uh, have it always, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see, yeah. we'll see. Man, you about to send me down another pathway, man, talking that, man, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we could deep dive on that too, because you're right, there's a lot of manosphere things we could just take right there and, <laughs> with the scalpel precision and go, you know what, fellas, this is where you go wrong, right here. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Kate, right. man, this kind of shit, like, nah, we're not doing that. Like, let her go, fam. <laughs> <Right. laughs> you a whole superhero, get out of here. <laughs> she for the streets. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so she's out of here. Sit their ass left. We're good. We're good. All right. Uh, everybody else, how do you feel about Omni Man's wife, though? All right. As we as we wind down the conversation, I'm I'm kind of curious. Where she, where does she go here from here? Because hey, <laughs> I mean I mean he's, world he's is probably, completely world yeah. is completely rocked. This dude, I'm assuming, is probably be doing this stuff for at least the last 20 years. Nobody's just known about it. So she's been essentially married to and had a child by a, a, a psychopath. Well, you think about like, well, we already seen psych when like, say for instance, when he went to destroy that alien race, uh, went through the portal and Mark came home and he told his wife, she was like, oh, so he's gonna be late for dinner. So she's used to hearing his exploits, but she wasn't most likely, she didn't see him, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, up close. She have evidence of how dastardly he is right now. It's like literally, it's like once the, the veil is off, what can you really do? But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She attached to the strongest human being ever. I mean, the strongest uh person ever in this, this planet history. So like she damned if she do, damn if she don't. She already mm -hmm. sided with Cecil. So mm -hmm. I can see I can see Omni Man into her as well. Uh, I think Omni Man sees everybody as expendable. 
know what yeah. I mean? So, I, I don't know, if, I, I can't picture him, because like I said, Mark came through the assists, but Mark's kind of devastated. That's where we left off at the end of this episode. He killed uh, Mr. Immortal, he ripped him in half. I mean, now Mark's got to start putting the things together, and I think that'll manifest his power differently now, you know? So, Will, I think you're a little, it sounds like you're a little more versed on the story than we are, but Fresh, what do you think? Uh, does Mark end up stopping his dad, or? Um, I think they about to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion in front of the whole world about what, what was happening. And I wouldn't be surprised if they start scrapping. Now, the way Omni-Man just put everybody through the, uh, he went through a gauntlet, like you said earlier, and, you know, put to rest everything with ease. <laughs> Yeah, he might, he might put hands on the sun, you know what I mean, to teach him a lesson like, yo, you know what I mean? I'll say this, i say this too, man. It looked like Omni Man was gonna lose that battle though, too. Oh, against the- Oh, uh, he, he was about to lose. He was about to lose, like I said. Due to some fantastic writing, not plot. He was he was about to take that elder, that monster, and them zombies, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, R.I.P. Darkwing, man. I've been waiting for him <laughs> to catch hands since my homie died. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for Darkwing, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Ever since that, man, I can't, I can't forget this guy. I've been waiting for this guy to catch them hands, man. Uh, man. He's yeah. gotta go for that. That was what I called for. That was, that was though. Yeah, it, it was, it was epic, but it was on call for. Um, <laughs> Internet. I feel like we got many, many, many more moments to go in this show. Shout out to you if you already know. Uh, don't put spoilers in the description and comments. We all want to know. We want to discuss. Uh, but like I said, just reach out on the socials. The Basement Protag one on Twitter. Basement Protagonist on uh, everything else. Facebook, Instagram. And like I said, just follow us on the day to day grind. We always like to shoot shit with people. You know, we could follow us. You know, we could have conversations on Omni Man. Why Batman's a scumbag? Uh, why Flash is probably the most underrated character in the DC universe? All kinds of shit. Why Goku is the best protagonist ever created? But that's neither here nor there. Like I yeah, said, we can, we, we, yeah, we can go real in depth about the villainy can, of Batman. All yeah, day, can, every day. All the, the villainy of uh, Goku. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we can talk about him too. He ain't shitty, but, <laughs> but that's my guy. And, 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 but, but that's my guy, and we and we not gonna go there tonight. <laughs> but no, nah, but yeah, that's it for the night, nice and as you know, uh, let us know how you've been digging with this Invincible. Um, like I said, Robert Kirkman's the man. I feel like we're impressed. You're probably equally as impressed. But like I said, just drop us a, a, a comment below, like, subscribe, and you know, and we can continue to continue to kick it out here in the streets, man. Any uh, other words for the internet tonight, fellas? No, that's all I got. Everything's peace. All right. Well, that being said, we'll get at you next time. It's internet. All right. Peace. Peace out. Salute.